now that we've created all of these interesting effects in InDesign and we know how to preview it, how do we get these, these actual layouts? How do we get them to, how do we, how are we able to transport them? How will other people see the wonderful things that we've created? Well, this is something that's brand new to InDesign and I think it's a really wonderful feature. And it's called, I will show you, it's called Publish Online, right down here. So what this does, we're gonna click on this and you're gonna get this dialog box. It's gonna come up right here. Uh, it's coming up, coming up, coming up. Okay, publish your document online. So what this will do is this will give you an opportunity to actually take the thing that you created, put it online, and share it with others. First thing you'll notice is when you click on Publish Online, you'll notice that in this dialog box, a couple of things take place. First, by default, the name of your InDesign file is going to appear in your title. Our time video, and you'll see that right here. So that's number one. And then, of course, the actual name of the video will appear here, both of which you can change at any time. But we're going to keep the title as it is, and we're going to keep this description as it is, and let's see how we actually publish it. So when we click on Publish, what you're going to notice is that you'll get another dialog box, and that's going to be coming up shortly as the InDesign is thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, here it comes. So this, with this dialog box, you're going to see it's going to upload. And because it's a video, it's taking a little bit longer to upload, but that's okay. So now as it's uploading, it's uploading. And then once it uploads, what you can do now is you'll notice that it'll give you a URL to share. So you'll copy that. All right. And then you can say close. And once you've copied that URL, then you can actually launch a browser, and I'm in Firefox, so I'm going to launch Firefox. And here's Firefox. And then in the search bar, I'm sorry, in the actual uh, URL panel, if you will, I can paste in that, that URL. I can say OK, and here you go. It's going to take you right to that, um, that document that has the video in it. So, as you can see, once I put in that URL, the actual layout will appear live online, and anybody can see it who has that information, and they can play it, and they can view it as it appears in InDesign Live. So here you go, there's the video, it's playing. And there you have it. And that's how you can publish online in InDesign for the web. Lastly, let's talk about content management, um, how we can manage what we put online. So let's say, for example, um, we only wanted this to be out for a short period of time. We wanted our clients to take a look at it, to uh, make any comments on it, and then, of course, we need to remove it. Well, that's not a problem. All you have to do right now is go up to File. You're in InDesign. Drop down to Publish Online Dashboard. Click on that. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to a web page that has all of the files that you have published online. So as you can see, here's flower time. So let's say, for example, it's time to remove it. I can click on the little trash can. It'll ask me if I'm sure I want to delete it. I'll say delete. And then it says your document has been deleted successfully. So this is a wonderful new feature in InDesign. And uh, it's going to take you a long way for those of you who plan on publishing um, interactive content for the web.